Hey everyone, welcome back to another Figma animation tutorial. Today, we're going to create this smooth, fully animated image slider. And the best part is, we're doing it entirely inside Figma. No extra tools or plugins. So, let's just dive right in. Alright, add a frame. Change its background color. Add a rectangle on the frame to cover it completely. Now, let's place an image on top. Now duplicate this image for more times. Now change their images with different category images. Next, let's add an overlay on top of those images. Drop the opacity down to around 65%. Let's add a nice background blur to it. Now, select all the background images except the first one and set their opacity to zero. That way, only the first image is visible right now. Okay, now let's make our cards. Add another rectangle. Add an image into it. Place another rectangle over it. Align them properly. Bring the image to the front. Now mask it with the rectangle. Perfect. Duplicate this mask group four more times. Rename each one so we can stay organized. Swap out each image with something from a different category. Now place this whole mask group into the main frame. Position it nicely. Let's add some text. Duplicate it four times. And change the text for each one. Select all the text layers. Turn them into a frame. And shrink the frame height so it matches just one line of text. Then enable clip content. That way any extra text outside the frame stays hidden. Add this text frame into the main frame as well. Alright, now let's position our second image mask group in the frame. Add the ruler for the reference. Now create a duplicate of the frame. In this second frame, move the first image over to the left and align the second image in the center. On that first image, select the masked rectangle, rotate it 90 degrees to the right, and scale it down. Now bring the text to the front. Now hop back to the first frame and do the same thing for the second image. Select the masked group. Rotate 90 degrees and resize it. In the second frame, let's bring in the third image. Also, update the backgrounds. Set the first background image opacity to zero and the second background image opacity to 100%. Duplicate the second frame to make a third one. In this third frame, set the second background image opacity to zero and the third background image opacity 
to 100%. Now move the first image to out of the frame to make it hidden. Shift the second image left and bring in the third image to the center. Now here delete the second image. Just copy the resized second image from the first frame and paste it here. No need to resize again. Position the second image on the left side. In the second frame, rotate the masked rectangle of the third image 90 degrees to the right and reduce its size. Copy the resized third image and paste it into the first frame. Move it outside of the frame so it stays hidden. Add the fourth image to the third frame. Create a duplicate of the third frame to make the fourth frame. Move the second image out of the frame to hide it. Delete the third image here. Copy the resized third image from the second frame and paste it in. And bring in the fourth image to the center. In the third frame, rotate the masked rectangle of the fourth image 90 degrees to the right and reduce its size. Copy the resized fourth image and paste it into the second frame. Move it outside of the frame so it stays hidden. In the fourth frame, select the third background image and set its opacity to zero. Set the fourth background image opacity to 100%. Add the fifth image to the fourth frame. Create a duplicate of the fourth frame to make the fifth frame. Move the third image out of the frame to hide it. Delete the fourth image here. Copy the resized fourth image from the third frame and paste it in. And bring in the fourth image to the center. Select the fourth background image and set its opacity to zero. Set the fifth background image opacity to 100%. In the fourth frame, Rotate the masked rectangle of the fifth image 90 degrees to the right and reduce its size. Copy the resized fifth image and paste it into the third frame. Move it outside of the frame so it stays hidden. Make sure the text frame is always at the front in every frame. Select all the texts and move them upwards to show the respective category name. Repeat this for every frame. Now let's create our buttons. First, draw an arrow. Place a rectangle over it. Set the rectangle fill opacity to zero. Add a stroke around it. Select both shapes and convert them into a frame. Create a duplicate of this frame. In the second frame, set the fill opacity to 100%. And change the arrow color. Select both frames and convert them into a component set. Let's add prototype to the component. Let's add a hover animation to it. Drag this component from the Assets panel and place it on the frame.
Duplicate the button and flip it horizontally. Now duplicate both buttons and paste them on every frame. Let's add prototype to all the frames. Start by connecting the first frame to the second frame. Set the trigger to on click. Choose Smart Animate for the animation. Use a custom Bezier curve for the easing. Create a smooth curve like this. Set the duration to 12, 50 milliseconds. Now connect the second frame back to the first frame using the same settings. Connect all the frames together using these same settings. All right, now that all frames are connected, let's test it out. Perfect, everything's working smoothly, and that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please make sure to like, and share your thoughts in the comment section. It really motivates me to create more such content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.